Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be sharing with you guys my July favorites. I don't do a favorites video every month just because I feel like I don't always have new products or new things that I've been loving. Like I, sometimes I love like the same stuff or sometimes I'm still trying out new stuff. I'm not sure if I really like it yet or not. So yeah, so I did May favorites. I didn't do June favorites. Now I am doing my July favorites. So if you guys are interested to see what products I have been loving in the month of July, then watching. I'm going to start off with one of the most standout products to me that I have been completely obsessed with. This actually came in my June BoxyCharm and I was actually away on a cruise and I saw that, hold on, I like something in my mouth. My hair was just like, so and I saw on Instagram that BoxyCharm was including this in June's box that I almost peed my pants. I was so friggin' excited. This is the Alamar Cosmetics palette. I do not know how to pronounce this. This is Reina Del Carby. I don't even know. This is the volume one and this, why can't I open it? And this is what the palette looks like. Now I am, you, you can look at this palette and you kind of get like intimidated because of these two blues right here. But I did a look using this blue and to be honest with you guys, I have used every single shadow in this palette except for this one. I haven't really used, no. No, yeah, I actually haven't used this one, so I lied. I've used almost every single uh, shadow in here except for this one. And you guys, this eyeshadow formula is incredible. They are so pigmented. It is like, it's literally insane. I love using this shade, El Malicon. I don't know how to say it. I love using this shade in like my inner corner on my lid. I actually used this shade when I did my uh, Get Ready With Me for the Taylor Swift concert. This shade has become like my go-to like when I go out and stuff like at night. This is like my go-to. All of these mattes are beautiful. I love Coco Taxi. That's like probably one of my favorites in the palette too. Everything is just so creamy and smooth and pigmented and blendable. And my favorite, favorite shade in the entire palette is La Costa. This one I use as an inner corner highlight. I use it on my lid, highlight my brow bone, and I use it to highlight my face. And holy crap, this is a pigmented blinding highlight. If you need a blinding highlight, this is, use this. Get this palette because the shadows are good, but if you also need a good blinding highlight, get it because this highlight is insane. I freaking love it. And this piece of hair that is like straight right here is driving me nuts. Driving me freaking crazy. So moving on. So I figure since I talked about BoxyCharm just now, I'm going to stick to BoxyCharm. The next product that I also got in my June BoxyCharm is from Soul's Age Narrow, and this is their Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. And oh my god. Number one, this smells incredible. I think I like this the best just because of the way it freaking smells. This smells so good that I went to Sephora and I actually got the Brazilian body wash, the, what is it, foreplay body wash, I don't know, but it's by the Sol de Janeiro, and I went and I got the body wash, and oh my god, I am so obsessed with the way this smells, and to be honest with you, this is a really nice cream, I do use it, because it says that it, like, tightens, like, your thighs and stuff, so I do use it over there, I use it to moisturize, like, my legs, my arms, and I just use it kind of all over my body, and I am totally obsessed with it, not only does it smell amazing, but the formula is nice, and leaves you nice and smooth, and I am just... Totally, totally, totally obsessed with this. All right, so moving on to the next product. This is a new foundation. I don't think it's new, to be honest with you. I feel like it's been out before, but I think they may have repackaged it. I'm not exactly sure. It could be brand new, but I don't really know. This is the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24-Hour Foundation. It's a foundation that I'm wearing on my skin right now. And this foundation I wore it for the first time when I filmed the Taylor Swift uh, Get Ready With Me with my friends and let me tell you something, when I went to that concert, it poured. It poured the entire night. When I mean I was soaked by the time I, we finally got back to the car, I was soaked. And let me tell you something, my foundation still looked amazing. My skin was just like, it's fine, the rain, it's fine, no big deal. That's literally how my, like how I felt that night like my skin looked perfect like it looked like it did seven hours ago when I put on my foundation I could not believe how like well my skin like my foundation held up considering I was in the rain getting soaked just living my best life with my friend with my best friends jamming out to Taylor Swift and this foundation was living its best life that night too let me tell you this foundation is so 
freaking good. I love it. I'm in the shade Olive, and oh my god, I do not know why I haven't tried this foundation sooner. I feel like actually it was like revamped a few months ago. I don't know, to be honest with you, but I'm so happy that I now have discovered it, and it is definitely like, this beats every other foundation that I've ever raved about. This beats it. This is the best foundation I've probably ever tried, and that's saying a lot because I've tried a lot of foundations. But this one is probably the best. It's full coverage, it's long wearing, hell's a been torrential downpour, so has to be good, right? Alright, so moving on to another product that I have been absolutely obsessed with. This is from Flower Beauty. This is their Seal the Deal Hydrating Setting Spray. This is a dewy mist, like a dewy uh, finishing spray, setting spray, whatever. I love it. Number one, it has a very nice like scent, like scent to it. It doesn't like have no scent or like a weird scent. Like it actually smells like very nice and like calming I feel like I don't know I could be wrong but that's how that's my take on the scent I love this spray the mist on it is amazing to be honest with you it does not give me like a dewy dewy finish like I'm not like looking dewy after I use it but I feel like it held like my makeup held, held holds up so nice when I use this and I just love the way it like gets all over my face and it's just it's a really really good setting spray for the drugstore if you're in like the hunt for a new drugstore setting spray, try this guy out. This is I think $16.99 to $17 and it is so freaking good. Setting spray, I know I just talked about one. How could you have two, two favorite setting sprays? Well I do. So this one is a more higher end setting spray. And remember how I said this one isn't like dewy? This one is. This has gotta be, this is a very very good one. But this one I feel like I like a little bit more because of the fact that it leaves my skin looking dewy. Like if you like looking dewy or if you have dry skin and you don't like to look dry and you just feel like you just like to look dewy and just like healthy and glowy, this is your setting spray. You need to go to Sephora and you need to buy this because this setting spray, it locks my makeup really, really nice. But that's not why I love it. I love it because it gives me that dewy, like fresh, glowy look that I'm always going for. I'm always trying to achieve and this setting spray... It takes it to that level. Takes it, takes it to the level I need it to be taken to, and it is just such a freaking good setting spray. I love it. So moving on to powders. I have one powder to talk about. This is the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. This is a loose, translucent setting powder. When I first tried this, I wasn't crazy about it. Like, I was like, mmm, I like my other ones better. But, oh my god, when I bake with this, I really, really, really enjoy it. I feel like it makes my under eyes look so smooth and nice. I use it to chisel out my contour to like bake over there. I bake my under eyes with it. And to be honest with you, this is such a good powder. It does give a little bit of flashback because I used it at the I used it the night I went to Taylor Swift and I kind of had some flashback in some of those photos, but it wasn't anything crazy. It was just like, oh, I was able to tell. You know what I mean? Like my friend was like, I don't even see it, but I was like, no, like. I know it's there, I can see it. This is such a good setting powder. Like I said, I only use it to bake with because I don't like how it really sets like my under eyes when I don't bake with it. I feel like it doesn't like prevent them from creasing, but when I do bake with it, it makes them look smooth. It doesn't like they don't crease. Like this is a really, really good setting powder. I am so happy that I purchased it. I believe they have like a few more shades. I think they have like a medium shade and then a deep shade. I could be wrong, but this is their translucent one. And oh my god. And you do get like a pretty decent amount of product. As you can see, I kind of have a ton left and I have been using this like every single day of my life. I love it. So we spoke about glow before, right? With the setting sprays. Now we're going to talk about ultra glow. Now, if you guys don't know, I love highlight. I love to look dewy. I love to look glowy and highlighted and just, oh, I freaking love it. I live for it. So the highlight that I am wearing right now, as you can see, I look very wet and just like glowy. It's like my goal in life to look glowy at all times. This is the Morphe High Impact Highlighter in the shade Extra. And you guys, if you guys have seen my videos in the past like month or so, you've seen me use this in pretty much every video. I have practically destroyed this. Honestly, this is what it looks like. Let me just give it a little swatcheroo. When I swatched it in Ulta and I put it on my hand, I was like, I don't think I'm going to like this, but something inside of me was like, no, give it a chance. If you don't like it, you can always return it. So I was like, all right. I bought it and oh my God, this second I put it on my face, like it just gives me that glow and it doesn't look like it's sitting on top of your skin. It kind of just looks like your skin is one with the highlight and it's just coming from within and I 
love it. This is only $14, and I feel like you get a, it's like a pretty decent size pan, you know what I mean? And oh my god. So freaking in love with this, you don't even understand. I have another glow product to talk about. Obviously, you guys get the hint. I like to look highlighted, I like to look dewy. So this is another product from Flower Beauty. This is their Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette, and this is what it looks like. And to be honest with you, I am so obsessed with this. I kind of only use these two shades, this one and this one. This one is a little, like, too pink for me, if you ask. Like, I don't know. It's a beautiful color, but in my opinion, I think it's too... In my opinion, I think it's too pink. And oh my god, these are very, 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 very intense highlighters. So when you use these, you have to be careful because they can look powdery very easily. Definitely tap off all that excess on your brush. Make sure you just have a little bit of product uh, powder on your brush and then go in and it gives you such a nice glow. This is an intense glow. This is, the Morphe one is still intense, but it kind of looks like natural. You're not looking natural with this. You are looking glowy and wet and sweaty and everything. To be honest with you, I'm like, I love that and I'm a little extra so I will mix like these two together. I'll use like the gold shade in here which is this one right here and then I'll go in with the Morphe one or vice versa and I love it. This I think is $17 but that's not even that bad because you do get three highlighters with it so it's not horrible. So these two have been like my go-to glows for the month if you will. So I only have two more products to share with you guys and I'm going to talk about what is on my lips right now. This is the Buxom Va Va Plump, I guess, lipstick or lip gloss. I'm not exactly sure. This is in the shade Taupe It Off, and it's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. And oh my god, I am obsessed with this. When I first got this, I really wasn't crazy about it. But then now that I've been self-tanning and I have a little bit more of a deep, like a darker skin tone at the moment because I'm self-tanned, I love how this looks on my skin tone right now. It's long wearing indefinitely. I can put it on in the morning when I go to work and by the time I leave work, even if it's at like 6 o'clock at night, it's still there. It doesn't look as good, but it's still holding strong and it it's glossy and it's moussey and it's just such a good color. I love it and to be honest with you, I'm almost out of it because of how obsessed with it I have been. I freaking love this color. It wasn't horrible when I was a little bit more fair. It looked a little more pinky on me when I was fair. Now that I'm a little more tan, it kind of looks like more taupey, I guess, because the name is Taupe It Off, right? So yeah, so I have been totally, totally obsessed with this. The last product is another lip product. This is another product from Flower Beauty. Wow, I have three Flower Beauty products. Okay, this is their Miracle Matte Lip in the shade Bare Honey. This is what the packaging looks like. This is what the color looks like, and oh my god. This one... I have, I'm like almost out of it because I have worn it so much and like, it's like fading, like the word flower and the flowers that are on the packaging are fading because of how much I have worn this in the past. I want to say like two months I have been wearing this non-stop. I love this formula so much. I feel like it's not too drying, but it goes on like kind of moussey and it just has like a cooling sensation. I don't know how to explain it when it like, when you put it on your lips, but it is such a beautiful, beautiful color, and I'm totally obsessed with the formula as well. Now, if you do leave this on for hours, it will give you like that white, like that white thing in your mouth, you know what I mean? Like around your lips when you've had lipstick on for a while, and it starts to kind of look white and like cakey and just gross. It will give you that, to be honest with I just kicked my light. <laughs> it will give you that, to be honest with you. But somebody like me, I touch up my, I like, not touch up, but like I look to see if my lipstick is still good every few hours and if I have to, I will touch it up. So for me, that's not an issue, but for somebody that goes hours and hours and hours and wants like a long wearing one that's going to look good, this is not it. And on, to be honest with you, I would go with like a Smashbox liquid lipstick if you're looking for that. But this one, if you're looking for affordable, if you're looking for a comfortable formula and you're looking for a good color, please look no further than this. I don't know if I said it, but this is in the shade Bare Honey and... I am totally in love with this. I love this shade. I love this formula. It is definitely like a formula that I want to keep trying. I, I think I want to, I don't think, I know I want to try her um, red color. I'm pretty sure she has like a red liquid lip color and I definitely want to give that one a try. And I have been totally, totally obsessed with this. So if you're looking for a new liquid lip, this is it. All right, you guys, so that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I need to get out of this room because I am sweating. It is so 
freaking hot in here. You don't even understand it. Between this light and just the heat outside, I feel like I'm literally melting right now. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these products. Let me know what you guys' thoughts and whatnot. And yeah, like I said, that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I really hope I will see you in my next video.